Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, teamosso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, teamosso at thewatchbox.com, with any question you may have. Today, we are discussing a 2003 model, your limited edition of 57 pieces, 42 millimeters and resplendent in platinum. This is the Omega Speedmaster Professional Moonwatch Moonface, skeletonized and engraved. The skeleton with craft art executed by the late great Armin Strom, truly something different and special, even among Omega Moonwatch special editions. I can confidently say that while there is always another Speedmaster limited edition, there will never be another one of these. So the timepiece is rather conventionally shaped, though incredibly hefty in platinum, 42 millimeters in diameter. It measures 13.8 millimeters thick with sapphire crystals on both sides, 48 millimeters lug to lug, and 20 millimeters is the spacing between the lugs. We'll zoom out a little bit, take a look at my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and get a sense of how the watch wears. The watch is comfortable, and even a little bit lower than a standard moon watch with the plexiglass. Uh, the Hesalite crystal, the thermal plastic on the standard moon watch, is a little bit taller than this sapphire. I would recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Taking a look at the timepiece, Omega pulls out all the stops. Upscale, no calfskin here. Alligator leather, medium rectangular scale. Thickly bolstered with stuffing to give it volume. Medium brown, monotone stitch, sheer cut side showing the layers of leather, and you can see calfskin on the underside. This is a brand new Omega factory strap, and it includes a full twin trigger actuated, polished and engine turned white gold folding clasp. So twin trigger, so it can't pop open accidentally. The twin triggers must be depressed simultaneously. And then it features a strap minder system. So you actually tuck the strap in, you buckle it down, you size it, and then all excess length is hidden underneath the strap. There are no strap minder loops. It's a very clean look. This is a long running and very successful clasp design by Omega. Security against dropping your watch while donning or removing. The case is familiar, asymmetrically profiled. There's sheer protection on the crown side for the pushers as well as the crown. And this is the way it's been since 1964 in the first Speedmaster Professional. And this is technically a Speedmaster Professional. In spite of the fact that it is extravagant, it is a speedy pro, just like the Moonwatch Moon Phase historically has been. Pusher adjusters on the case flank for the Moon Phase as well as the radial date. The watch has both. And then we have a brushed and very subtly lacquered tachymeter scale for gauging the speed of, for example, a car over a mile or a kilometer. And you can appreciate the fact that it is all brushed with a concentric pattern surrounding a dial that has been open wrought to allow you to view the movement beneath. Now you can see there's a lovely satin granular finish to the dial that is there as well as blued indices and skeletonized blued hour and minute hands with a blued skeletonized lancet style chronograph seconds hand. We have constant seconds all the way over at nine o'clock and then chronograph minutes and hours. You have the moon phase and the date up at the top along with individual numbering. This is number 47 of 57 in the limited series. A nice big domed sapphire to give you some of the aesthetic of the thermal plastic but with greater scratch resistance. You can see the movement is really something special. Armin Strom was a legend, not just as a watchmaker but as an artisan and engraver. Skeletonizing and engraving principally ETA Valshu and Unitas based movements for his namesake brand. He also did a limited amount of external custom commissions, and that's exactly what this is. A commission by Omega of Armin Strom to create this limited series. Of course, 1957, the year the Speedmaster was first created, that is the significance of the unit numbering. Now, when you turn the watch over, you can see that it is even more spectacular on the reverse side. This is caliber 3604, 18 joules, manual wind, 21.6 beat rate, 48 hour power reserve, 50 meters water resistant inside this case. It features a cam lateral clutch system, just like the standard LaMagna-based Moonwatch caliber would, and it is still based on a LaMagna caliber, albeit highly modified, with a burn used to skeletonize, well I should say, to engrave once the skeletonization is completed. So you can appreciate that because this is all manually done without any guides or engines, no two amongst the 57 will be exactly alike. You can see the use of real fired blued screws, satination across the steel components of the chronograph, as 
as well as mirrored beveling or anglage on the edge of the chronograph components and the edges of the bridges of the movement satination on the wheels and a lovely array of silver, blue, violet, and gold tones comprising the components of this movement. So, of course, that La Mania base is the Moonwatch caliber, which means you still have the beating heart of the caliber that flew on innumerable NASA missions. So, this still has Moonwatch heritage, but it's become something more. It's one of the rare Omega watches that, of which you can truly say it is handmade and hand-finished, like the best from Patek, Vacheron, or AP. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.